a little video uh, off my phone, so please don't judge the quality. And I haven't, I don't have any edit capability, so it'll probably be straight to post. Take a little trip down in Mongols to do some driveway camping. Going to work on the RV a little bit. He's got a great setup. He's got 30 amp right to his in his garage that I can plug into. He's got a dump station if I would ever want to use it. He has a 36 foot Class A that he uses to go to the lake a lot. So that's pretty cool. Right now I'm driving. I'm trying to trying to draft this semi, but he's going a little faster than I want to. I uh, when I drive my car, I'm like never in the slow lane, so it takes a little getting used to in the RV, but. I'm just trying to save gas. I don't like to. I don't like to go any faster than I need to because this thing just starts sucking the gas. But uh, the one thing you find that when you're driving these, as opposed to your car, like when I'm in my car, I probably shouldn't admit it on YouTube, but I drive a little faster than I should. So I'm rarely in the in the slow lane unless I'm passing some Yahoo that won't get over. Yahoo, I try not to swear on YouTube like I do in my real life, but uh, if you're one of those people, get out of the way, please. And then you have to deal with people merging on the highway. You know, when I'm driving my car, I don't worry too much about that because I just go. With these, when you're in the slow lane and something like this, you have to try to guess if somebody's going to be smart enough to see that you're giving them a space to get in front of you or if they're going to just drive right next to you until the lane runs away, so that can be fun sometimes. A little bit. There's my co-pilot. She's chiming in. Yep. He rides up right behind my head by the coffee pot so she can so she can determine if I'm doing the right things. But uh, in this, I try to stay right about the speed limit just to save gas because this thing will really suck down gas when you're above it. My preference is, is to stay off the interstates and do the back roads, but on a trip like this, this, this is short and the most direct route. Um, closing up on somebody here, I see if I can do a little drafting on them. That really helps a lot. If you have an RV, you should try that every now and then. You stay about three car lengths back and you can really save, save on some gas. What's the matter? I know. Yeah. yeah. She hears me talking. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I probably won't post this till I get home. Talk to you later.